Stillwater, you know, for somebody that didn't know who we were, it would be just, um, you know, you'd say like we were a southern rock band from the, from the late 70s. Uh, we, we, you know, played kind of like more melodic southern rock, you know, more and more of a harmony kind of based, you know, a pop kind of leanings, more like ARS, the Atlanta Rhythm Section, than so much than, than some of the other bands, like you hear like Marshall Tucker or... Uh, not to say that they didn't do harmonious things, but it was it was a little bit more. We were just a little bit more leaning toward, uh, you know, the the the, the Beatles kind of pop thing, and, and and which we were all influenced by. And then, of course, the Almond Brothers influenced it a whole bunch. You know, everybody. You know, so we had a little bit of that in there too. Uh, but uh, that's that's what I would say would be a good description of us. So I would just say it was just kind of a pop, folk rock kind of bluesy band. <laughs> Almond Brothers were huge. I mean, right about the time I got here in '71, you know, that they, 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 that live album had already come out, you know, and uh, and it was just it was just amazing, you know. And so, right about the time we we started playing together in '75, you know, that was a little bit a little bit later. That was uh, that was really when I joined. It was the very beginning of '70, or actually the the, the, the end of '74. Uh, the music scene, a lot of the stuff that was really big. At that time, I, I just in the area. I remember uh, in the Southern Rock scene, you know, that I think some things that were coming out were like, uh, you know, Marshall Tucker, of course, had hit like a couple of years early, and they were pretty big. And then uh, Wet Willie was one of my favorites, you know, from from the band. They, they, they had some things going on. They keep on smiling, came out, you know, and that was a big one for them, you know. And then of course Wet Willie. That's how they, you know, the, the Tom Dowd thing kind of got started. They were doing re-recording that that album after that, doing Dixie Rock. And, uh, but uh, yeah, that was kind of what the scene was like. I mean, as far as that, that was the big Capricorn Southern Rock bands at the time. Uh, some of the struggles that I think that we went through to get to that level though was, was just a, the demo process. You know, you, I can remember. You know, we, we were, we, you know, we like tunes, and of course, I, I know at that stage we had a lot of good tunes um, that, that they were interested in. My Bit was the first single, and then, and then and we got a lot of airplay with some of the other tunes, but uh, never reached that that level. It was right on the cusp of uh, the top 40, which was which was amazing. Uh, if all that stuff had happened, you know, at the right time. I think it would, it would have broken into the top for you. I can't hear you. I make some noise in there. Oh, oh, oh. 